love you, I love you. Don't know why. I'm drifting, I'm drifting so out of my mind. Hey guys, this is your you versus them reading. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. <clears throat> if you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. To my subscribers, thank you guys for coming back time and time again and supporting me. Thank you so much. Let's see how you guys were viewing this relationship before. Aquarius, Queen of Wands, mm, you, you really had high expectations, I feel like, for this connection, um, very attracted to this person, felt like you guys could kind of work through anything, um, you had this person's back, for sure, they have all these cards that just jumped out. Let me see what these are. I'm going to put them back in though. Strength, which is restraint. Four of Wands, trying not to give in to being in a committed relationship is what it seems. Just worried about themselves and their stability, their happiness. Um, with that Seven of Swords energy there, this person is trying to decide whether or not they have a chance in hell to come back. We have the Seven of Swords with the Two of Wands. Um, I definitely get the sense that this person is coming back from these cards. Um, Leo, Aries energy is um, definitely present here. Let's see how they were viewing this relationship. Mm, all these cards want to come out for them. Six of Swords, they're just trying to get past it. They're trying to move on. Um, this person is trying to move on by themselves. Aquarius energy. This could be you guys. So keep in mind that these lines can be um, vice versa. Okay. What's currently going on for you guys? I'm going to speak like the top line is yours because that is my intention. But if it's reversed, you know it's reversed. What's currently going on for Aquarius? The Will of Fortune. Trying to move on. Trying to do things to um, better your livelihood, better your life. There's a lot of change that is ensuing for you currently. Um, Sagittarius energy, Piscean energy here. But you guys may also be involved with someone else. Um, you're currently going through uh, some sort of karmic lesson during this period. Um, a lot of changes going on for you. I think there are some great changes actually taking place currently for you guys. Okay. What's currently going on for the other person? Two of Cups. Hmm. This person may um, be involved with someone else. Or this person is thinking about you. But we'll see. But it's like they're moving on. Sometimes when people are going through, um, you know, breakups, heartache they actually try to you know get with someone else just to try to get over uh, the per the other person it's like a rebound but I feel there is a feeling of being smitten this other person right now cancer energy hmm. what's influencing Aquarius what's influencing Aquarius Eight of Wands, moving on, change. The Eight of Wands with the Will of Fortune, there's a lot of change going on with you guys. Like I said, you guys are moving forward. You're moving on and you're doing it at a very fast, rapid rate. Okay. Um, definitely some good things coming your way, I feel. You're not sitting still. 
and you're not waiting for anyone. A lot of progression. <clears throat> Ow. Okay, so I'm not taking all these cards again, but being that they fell out, I just have to look at them. Ten of Pentacles. This person wants to build a legacy. Five of Wands, but something's blocking them. There's some conflict here. Nine of Swords, definitely a blockage um, going on with them. They can't figure out what to do next. Their ego is definitely in the way with that sun energy blocking their intuition. Blocking their intuition. They're, they're very stubborn. That emperor energy. Very stubborn. Let's see. What's influencing the other person? The king of pentacles. Yeah, this person's trying to, to, to they're, they're wanting to, I feel like, have a commitment. Um, this person's probably working more on their finances, I feel. Um, trying to get to a point where they are stable, um, content, because there is a level of... Uh, there was a level of discontentment in the past, but I feel like this person's currently doing something that they love, whether it's with someone else or whether they are actually um, in a job that they they feel quite uplifted by. Okay. Hmm. Oh, let's see what's coming in for Aquarius. What's coming in for Aquarius? Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you guys are doing the damn thing. You're building. You're building up to that legacy for yourself. I think you guys are a positive influence on this person. They're aspiring, basically, to be where you are, to be in the position that you're in, because you're definitely working towards something very, working hard towards something very um, lucrative for yourself. You're moving on. You're, you're, you're building a legacy for yourself, whether that's in a relationship or um, ju just your way of life, period. And I feel like this person is basically trying to get where you are. They may be trying to um, talk things out with you guys currently, let you know that they do love you, let you know that they, they do want to be with you, they do want to be in a relationship with you, they do want to be committed to you. But there's a, there's, there's a blockage for them because their ego is so um, getting in the way of what they should be doing truly okay what's coming in for Aquarius did something flip over there it did for the person look at this the will of fortune they're getting there this person wants to build with you And I feel them changing, rethinking. Hmm. Both of you have the will of fortune. Yeah, I like this because um, this person is, I feel, if you guys have had talks about uh, what it is that you need from them, how you guys can progress. I feel like being apart from you, um, this person gets it now. They're listening. They're changing their ways. They're changing their habits. They're changing their point of view. And they know that they have to work on themselves in order to have that Ten of Pentacles, um, that, that very strong, solid, committed 
relationship. In order for them to be happy, they need to listen to their intuition and follow their heart. Be open. Be open and honest about things. <clears throat> what is the outcome for Aquarius? New start. Ace of Wands. Starting over. Being happy. Being excited about something. This new start. What's the outcome for the other person? Four of Cups. This person, they're not closed off, but they're not that comfortable wearing their heart on their sleeve. Um, I see this person, if you guys do not accept whatever it is that they're, they're offering, they kind of revert back to, um, you know, not showing you much affection. Um, although they have this Two of Cups energy, they they kind of pout when they don't get their way. Is what this person does. It's just the way that they are, I do feel. But they are definitely working on themselves and trying to, to change. Because they definitely want this new start with you. They definitely want to be with you. Um, be in a relationship with you guys. They know that they need to work on certain things. And that and communication, I feel, is one of them. Um, and being open and honest. Okay. So we have Cancer. I feel Aries. Leo is here. Um, Pisces. Sagittarius. Virgo. Taurus may be here as well. Um, yeah. So that is what I have for you guys, and I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye now. Uh, I've been blind too long, now I finally see. The real and fake, who's down for me? The situation wasting my time. I had enough, I'm tired of the lies Blah, 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 da-da-da-da-da What are you saying?